Booster shots are coming for people who need extra COVID protection due to weakened immune systems. KTV's Deborah Villalone joins us live with the tales tonight. And Deb, you spoke with some candidates. Tell us about it. Yeah, Andre, the FDA signed off yesterday. CDC did so today. It clears the way for some people to roll up their sleeves for third shots. You have to protect yourself whichever way you can. Fighting bone cancer, Dennis Steffen has been careful during months of chemotherapy, limiting visitors and outings. Even after vaccination, he knew he was at higher risk for a breakthrough case. That's my big concern is that COVID would have an easier time to get in and infiltrate my system. Especially if when he's on chemo, then that is what takes his immune system, his white cells, everything goes down while he's on chemo. About 3% of Americans have weakened immune systems for a variety of reasons, and the CDC now says several syndromes and conditions qualify for COVID boosters, including organ transplant, active cancer treatment, stem cell transplant, HIV infection, and drugs such as steroids that suppress immune response. Today, a transplant recipient in Baltimore was the first person in the U.S. to get a third shot. An additional dose could help increase protection for these individuals, which is especially important as the Delta variant spreads. The booster is simply another dose of Pfizer or Moderna, whichever vaccine the person got originally. And like the first rollout, the candidate pool will widen over time. That's interesting if I would qualify. I'm not sure that I do, though. Beverly Windsor had surgery and radiation for breast cancer last year. Still on meds, she considers herself recovered, but she called her doctor to ask about a booster. I reached out today and I said, am I immunocompromised, you know, having had the cancer? She is inclined to see others who are more vulnerable go first. And I'll just wait and see. Um, if I feel like they're sitting on it and I feel like I am, a candidate, then I'll push harder. For the Steffens, it feels a lot more urgent. Dennis's cancer was caught when he complained of shoulder stiffness while getting a physical. The couple is making the most of every day they have. This booster shot, you know, keeping him as safe as we can, we, we want on that. We want on that list as fast as we can. Anything that can help protect me from what goes around besides the masks, uh, I'll, I'll take it all. How to get the booster? Pharmacies such as CVS have posted messages that they are still waiting for details, and counties will likely look to the state for specific guidance. So, Andre, implementation may still be a few steps away. All right, many people will be waiting. Deb, thank you so much.